Hey guys, Triple C coming at you tonight. Uh, what do you think of that freaking Method 88, man? He's been churning out the videos and some of them are whack. Whack. Damn. That People Magazine video. Gee whiz, man. <laughs> anyway, a couple, a couple freaking packages come in the mail today. Uh, here they are. One of them is from... Uh, Gray Badger Firearms. The other from Ecop USA. Now that Ecop USA, they ship pretty quick. I'm, I was impressed with how fast they are from uh, the great state of Florida. And the other one uh, got backlogged a couple days, but they finally got it to me. So, yep, I'm pretty happy about that. So let's uh, open these up here. This one here first. Now this here was a kind of an impulse buy, but this is a uh, super slim key mod hand stop barricade rest kit. This thing is actually way, way bigger than I thought it was going to be. It's nice quality, but it, it only, it fits on the super slim series of their, uh, hand rails, you know, their hand guards. But, uh, it really don't fit anything else the way it's shaped. It's really nice. The quality of it's really good. I, it's not exactly what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be super small. I'm looking for something really small and compact. This was $10 on eBay. 10 almost 11 bucks, and that was shipped. But, uh, it's not bad barricade stop I don't, I don't know you know whatever it's a hand stop barricade stop there's the mounting hardware it mounts up pretty nice I mean for just that one key mod uh, screw that's it mounts up fairly nice so kind of a bummer it only fits the wrong rifle I was wanting to put this on my pistol and take that little angled foregrip off and just have a little nub, little hand stop, compact hand stop instead of a kind of a angled foregrip or whatever. But anyhow, that's that. So we'll move this out of the way. Throw that out there. Here's some of that gray badger firearms. And this is one of those, we'll call it, since, since uh, MGK was the first one to flop this out on a video uh, I'm gonna call it the MGK ambidextrous charging handle now you guys know the deal and if you watch the mafia videos this is how it comes packaged guys right there looks like it come from Academy no packing material just flops around in there look at that See that scratch? That's just on the plastic. But uh, some swag. Not bad, not bad. Not bad. Gray Badger. But anyway, I wanted one of these because this thing is almost a carbon copy of a Raptor ATX or a Radeon or whatever they call themselves now. But it's a generic version as MGK said. And uh, I do have a Raptor charging handle, so I'm going to lay these side by side. And we'll just kind of look them over, what do you think? Real quick, like, so. I'm going to pause the video, and I'll pick it up here in just a second. Well, anyway, just to show you, there's a Raptor. It's all, it's a nice charging handle. I got this at, for like $54 at Optics Planet. They had them on sale right when they were clearancing these out to go to the Radeon or whatever the hell they call themselves now, like I said. But anyway, still a very, very nice charging handle. Uh, this is Metham 88 approved. Metham 88. You guys know Metham 88? But anyway, <laughs> let me pop this out of the package and the other one out of the package. Okay, that was easy. There's that one. This one's going to be a little tougher. I'm going to have to use my mouth. 
Oh yeah, I have to use my pickle puffer on <laughs> to open that up. But uh, man, I'm telling you what, guys, these things. I don't know. Okay, the deal is they're very very similar, but they're not the same. Not even close. I can tell you right now. If you look how thick that the uh, levers are, uh, the generic one is thinner, but it is close. I mean, and I can tell you right now the spring tension on the generic one, which is work for very nice for 35 bucks versus the Raptor. I mean, there's no comparison. This, this thing here's got probably a way stiffer spring, uh, probably nicer, nicer punch, uh, like stainless steel roll pins. These are not stainless steel roll pins, but still all in all, pretty nice quality. Sorry about that guys, sorry about that. I had to pause for a second, but anyway, like I said, Pretty nice quality anyway. I mean, it, it actually functions perfectly. It is scratched up a little bit, their badger. I'm not crazy about that. This, mu this wasn't a blim. And I'm not buying this with your Patreon money either. This is actually coming out of my, my, uh, my pocket, so. Uh, but yeah, I mean, they're similar, very, very similar, guys. Are they the same? No, they're not. But if you're doing a budget build and you got 35 bucks to spend on a charging handle, uh, I would definitely probably, and I like the Strike Industries charging handles. You can get them fairly good price. But I would definitely buy this probably over, well, yeah, over a uh, Strike Industries or a regular you know, mill spec charging handle. Pretty nice unit. You know, I have not used it. I'm sure it's just going to work just like a charging handle. But uh, not too bad. But it's not. It's not an ATX Raptor. It's not a Raptor at all. What whatsoever. I mean, this thing is way way tighter. Battle proven. I don't know about that. But anyway, that's it. This video is getting long. Uh, that's the comparison from the uh, generic charging handle to the Raptor. So, you guys, uh, if you got $35 you want to drop on a charging handle, I'd check one out. Pretty nice. Very, very similar, like you said, like you can see. But, I mean, they're, the footprint's damn near identical, except for the, the generic one has less material, as you can see there. But anyway, enough rambling. Thanks for watching. Keep on subscribing, and we'll catch you next time. I'm out. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. There's the uh, tag for you, tag fags. So, yeah, check Gray Badger Firearms. You can get the twofer. I forgot to mention that, the twofer, like uh, MGK bought. So, check them out. I'm out.